How you doing? I'm Jeff with Jeff's Lawn Landscaping. Uh, this is Friday. Just got back to the storage unit and unloading. Uh, actually, uh, got back at a decent time. It's kind of nice. I don't think I've had a day off for a couple weeks and even tomorrow. It, it's supposed to rain, but if it don't rain, I've got a small shrub job to do and uh, I've got to finish that mulching job that I done last Saturday. So, but anyways, it's kind of nice to get off at a decent time. Maybe I can catch up on a little bit of rest. I'm pretty, pretty tired, but I just wanted to show you the mower. Uh, I like, I like uh, bringing up uh, things that happen where hopefully somebody, if it happens to them, uh, they can look and see if this is what the problem is on that. I like uh, watching other people's YouTube channels and learning from that and, and hoping somebody might learn a few things or catch some ideas on my channel. But anyways, the, I was out mowing actually for a few days. It might sound a little crazy, but uh, I, you know, I was saying I put new blades and sharpen them and everything the other day. Well, the last couple of days, I kept hearing a vibration in the front of the mower. And you couldn't really hear it when you're running the mower, when the blades are running and everything. And I just thought, well, maybe it's just cause it's loud. But then when you would like put it in neutral is when you could kind of hear a vibration or if you turn the blades off and you're running it up on the trailer, you could hear a vibration in the front of it. Well, I was kind of worried that maybe it was a pulley or something going out. Then I got to thinking, well, if it was a pulley, I would think, not that I'm a mechanic or anything, but I would think that uh, it would be when you're, when you're, uh, the blade's on, when you're pulling it and all that, uh, is maybe when you'd really hear that. But anyways, uh, I was mowing the front yard, got uh, to the, towards the back there to open the gate so of course I put it in neutral and come around to the front of the mower and like I said that's when you could you could hear the vibration so I, I got down here and was looking and I put my hand down here and pressed and the vibration went away or I didn't really hear it well I think the muffler is what was making it vibrate it was making this vibrate but anyways, like I said, it might sound a little crazy, but I got to looking and this cover was loose. So all I had to do is I tightened up, tightened up all four of them. So when we put the blades on, didn't get it tight enough, I guess. And it was vibrating. So for a couple of days, not that I was stressing big time over it, but uh, you know how you go through there and you're mowing and you're used to hearing certain noises with it running and then when there's like a, a different noise that you're not used to it just kind of bo bothers you or it does me so for a couple of days I was going around trying to figure out what this is and I even tried to think to myself okay just ignore it and run it and something goes out then you'll know what it is but uh it still, it, it just bugs me. But anyways, I'm glad it wasn't that big of a deal and I got them tightened up and went on to the next job and uh, didn't really notice it. So uh, hopefully that's all that it, how all it was. I'm pretty sure it was because when I pulled it, uh, the cover, I mean, you could tell it was pretty loose. And then I just tightened all four of those. And uh, like I said, it seemed like it's doing all right now. But I just, you know, it's kind of funny how you'll hear certain things like that and you get to looking in, into it thinking, uh, oh, it's it's the worst thing ever that is going out on it. And then you get to looking and it was something simple. Or at least, as far as I know, that's all it was. Uh, I just thought I'd talk about that and... Uh, if, if this is the first time you've come to my channel, it, here's my other mower, Kubota 60 inch diesel. And uh, this is my storage unit. 
I like being in here keeping keeping the price down I try to keep things as organized as I can I know people that have seen this as seen this several times probably but I always like showing it just in case it's the first time that you've been on here So appreciate you checking this video out and I'd, I'd appreciate it if you'd go back and check out some of my other videos and talk to you next time.